Today we're talking about athletics with Tim Alberts. I'm Anne Marie Fiore, Director of Technology for the Wilmington Public Schools, and you are in the loop. We're thrilled to have on the show today Tim Alberts, our athletic director. Welcome to the show, Tim. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Anne Marie. Thank you, WCTV. <laughs> uh, Tim, so you're new to Wilmington Public Schools, as I am. Can you tell the folks at home a little bit about yourself? Yes, I uh, was hired and started on July 1st, 2016, as director of health, PE, and athletics at Wilmington High School. Uh, prior to Wilmington High School, I was director of athletics and physical education at Matinon High School. Uh, in Cambridge, Massachusetts for the last three years. Uh, prior to my time at Matinon High School, uh, I was involved in educational leadership at Boston College High School uh, in admissions as well as fundraising. I also coached soccer and lacrosse oh, that's excellent. at BC High, which is my alma mater, so yeah. it was a nice place to be. To start and, out. Uh, yep, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, that's great. Couldn't be happier here at Wilmington High School. That's great. Can you give us a recap of how the fall season went? Yes, uh, fall was extremely exciting. Uh, we had an awesome fall season, a lot of school spirit, which is great. Uh, some of our teams uh, performed really well, um, and a lot of st students got individual recognition, which is great. So yeah. I have my list here, just so I don't forget <laughs> anyone. Uh, but we had 15 students get all league recognition in the Middlesex League, which is uh, a tremendous accomplishment. Uh, not only to the individuals, but also to the coaching staffs and their teams as well. That certainly is. Uh, so in football, Mark and Neristant and Tyler Roberts were voted Middlesex League All-Stars. In golf, uh, Billy McAvoy was our All-Star. Uh, boys soccer, David Bell and Nick Haddad uh, were the Wildcat All-Stars. Uh, soccer just missed the playoffs this year, uh, but they had a great season otherwise. Also, girls field hockey, uh, Rose Cuzo, Jill Mealy, Mia O'Connell, and Danielle Silva were Middlesex League All-Stars. Uh, also very important, the field hockey team uh, was part of the Rotary Club's ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, yes. uh, which was a tremendous uh, initiative that the town did. And so the whole field hockey program, about 50 girls, participated, participated in Rotary Park and took the Ice Bucket Challenge, <laughs> which is... Uh, uh, hard to think about now in December, but <laughs> yes, back is. in August, it was a nice break yeah. <laughs> from their tryouts. Uh, so we uh, commend them for their community service. Yes. Uh, girls soccer won the Middlesex League for the sixth straight year. Wow. Uh, coached under Sue Hendy. Uh, Stephanie Figueredo uh, was Middlesex League All-Star as well as an Eastern Mass All-Star. Uh, wow. Liz Gordon, Middlesex League All-Star. Kayla McCauley, Middlesex League All-Star as well as being named All-State, uh, Jane Wisbicki, Middlesex League All-Star, and Olivia Wingate, Middlesex League All-Star. Uh, Olivia also was Boston Globe and Boston Herald All-Scholastic, which is quite an individual accomplishment. Uh, That's tremendous. Absolutely. Uh, also cheerleading had a great season, uh, coached by Amanda Bedia. Uh, they came in first in the Tewksbury wow. Invitational, Good. as well as the Austin Prep Invitational in uh, Sh Sharon Bat. Shannon Barrett uh, was top individual performer uh, when they competed in Tewksbury, which is great. Uh, and last but not least, uh, volleyball. Uh, Heather Posey was a Middlesex League All-Star. Wow. Uh, volleyball also participated and organized a Dig Pink Night where they raised funds for cancer awareness. Uh, also, girls soccer did a Kick Cancer Night uh, where they wore pink and raised funds for cancer awareness. And both volleyball and girls soccer were recognized by our state association, the MIAA. Uh, they received educational athletic awards oh, wow. for community service and for leadership, uh, which would, I couldn't be prouder. I think that's more important than winning a state championship. It is. Uh, so it was yeah. tremendous honor for those two programs. And Principal Linda Peters uh, threw them a nice celebratory dinner last oh. week in recognition oh, for their That was nice. Yes. So, Tim, what sports are going on now? This is the winter season, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, winter season started uh, right after Thanksgiving. The Monday after Thanksgiving, winter sports started. So we finalized all our teams right now. 
Uh, right now we have winter cheerleading. We also have boys basketball, girls basketball, uh, boys track and field, girls track and field, girls ice hockey, and boys ice hockey. So uh, quite an offering of sports, which is great for the student athletes and for the high school itself. So uh, we're in full mode. Uh, this is the sixth year we've been in the Middlesex League. And uh, I'm proud to say for the first time ever, uh, boys basketball beat Woburn High School. And also boys... For the first time ever? First time ever. Wow. And boys ice hockey also beat Woburn High School. Uh, so, you know, that's a school that's considerably larger yeah. enrollment-wise than Wilmington High School. Yep. And they competed well. Uh, girls basketball came up just a couple points short versus Woburn. Uh, who's also ranked in the top five in Division I. So girls basketball certainly has a promising season ahead of them. Uh, girls ice hockey had a phenomenal tie versus Lexington High School last week. And uh, wow. they're working hard and look to have a good season That's as great. well. Yeah. Uh, and track and field opens up their season tonight uh, in Boston at the Reggie Lewis Athletic Center. They're competing against Melrose tonight. Oh, great. Um, I know you're huge on Twitter. You mm -hmm. are huge on Twitter. You're <laughs> tweeting all night. We're retweeting you. Everybody's retweeting you. Uh, tell us about how parents and the community can follow um, follow the sports. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the first things I did when I started at Wilmington High School was to create an athletic Twitter account. I think it's uh, you know the best medium to get involved with the students and get our programs and good work out to I the agree. general public. Yeah. So. Uh, for those that have a Twitter account, uh, my handle for the athletic department is at Wilmington underscore AD. Good. Uh, so at Wilmington underscore AD. That will give you our Twitter handle. And we post recaps, we post announcements, uh, any type of pictures. Uh, gives you a glimpse into the athletic department. It's yeah, good sure for the does. students and uh, gives them some exposure as well. Uh, any type of scheduling. Also, to your credit, we have a brand new website, Thank you, uh, yeah. which is unbelievable. So it's WPSK12.com. Uh, when you go onto that website, when you click on high school, yep. uh, there's also an athletics tab that you click onto. And on that athletics page, it has everything from our coaches to their contact information. There's also a calendar feature you can click on and kind of get a glimpse of what's coming up. Uh, you can also click on schedules to get more of an in-depth uh, rundown of the different teams in their schedule. So, you know, we want members of the community to come to our games. Uh, basketball, pretty much every Tuesday and Friday night, we have a home game, whether it's boys or girls. And then Wednesday and Saturday, those are hockey days. Uh, so at Restucia Arena. So we want fans to come down. Uh, also, wrestling is in full mode. Uh, we had the Sons of Italy uh, tournament last week. I uh, couldn't be more thankful for their sponsorship. Uh, the Sons of Italy of Wil Wilmington hosted a uh, 19-team invitational wow. at the Shriners Auditorium. Wow. So uh, the weather was uh, a little <laughs> tricky, but everyone uh, made it there and made it home okay. And it was a wonderful event. Um, Tim, tell us what's after winter is coming up with the spring. What sports are in the spring? Yep, spring season. It's hard to imagine now. I know. Uh, in the middle of the December. We haven't even gotten that past Christmas yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we have a great offering of spring sports for the students as well. So we'll offer boys tennis, girls tennis, uh, baseball, softball, boys lacrosse, girls lacrosse, and track and field for both boys and girls. So uh, for any students and families that are interested, on Tuesday, March 14th at 6 p.m., we have our spring sports night in the Wilmington High School Auditorium. All right, that's uh, great. Those are great nights. We have one before every season. Uh, you'll hear from superintendent, uh, principal, other booster organizations. Uh, but it's a great way for parents to meet the coaches, ask as many questions as they want, hear about the coaches' philosophy and their trial processes and uh, really helps kind of gear into the season. So I encourage all families uh, that are interested in spring sports, make sure that they attend the spring sports night on Tuesday, March 14th. Now, once the spring is over, during the summer, you guys aren't, you aren't competing or anything. You're just prepping for the fall. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, in the summertime, we kick into summer camp mode. Yeah, summer camp. Uh, so the Wilmington Sports Clinics are a great way. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll we talk stay about busy that. with that. Yeah, Absolutely. Back the back-to-school show when, yeah. <laughs> when we get there. 
Uh, let's let's talk wrap up, Tim. We're running yep. out of time. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, you know, I just am so welcomed here in the community and couldn't be prouder to be a Wildcat. Uh, it's been a great transition, and certainly I wouldn't be able to do it without some support people uh, helping out in the athletic department. First and foremost, Cheryl Tavares, the athletic administrator assistant. Uh, yep. She's been super uh, in my time, as well as uh, when Mr. Harrison was the AD as well. Uh, Kevin Welch is the faculty manager. Kevin teaches at the middle school and comes over every afternoon and helps out with super game administration. Guy. Yes, he is. Uh, yeah throughout the seasons. Uh, Principal Linda Peters has been phenomenal. Uh, Assistant Superintendent Sean Gallagher, uh, Business Manager Paul Ruggiero, and Joanne Benton, our Interim Superintendent, uh, has just gone out of their way to help with my transition and make me feel welcome here. Uh, also, uh, Mr. Ed Harrison and Mr. Jim Gillis, the previous two athletic directors in Wilmington, uh, I talk to either one of them probably every other day. So wow. uh, I'm very lucky that I have mentors and support, yeah. uh, a phone call away, uh, just to bounce ideas and learn from uh, two great athletic directors that came uh, before me, and I'm, I'm lucky enough to follow in their footsteps. So It's great to have that support. Absolutely. And, uh, all right, so that's all the time we have for today on In the Loop. Um, if you'd like more information on the Wilmington Public Schools, please visit our website at www.wpsk12.com. Thanks for watching.